Hello, David Moore with Equity Advantage here with Connie Rathbone of Dunn Carney, and we're talking everything OZ today. So we talked a little bit about what it is. Now, what are the benefits or why would somebody consider an opportunity zone opportunity? Great. Well, the benefits are all related to taxes. The program, you only get the tax benefits if you invest capital gain. And so let's say you say you sell a piece of real property or you sell some stock. And let's say your basis, sale price is $2 million and your basis is $1 million. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can put the $1 million basis in your pocket and you can invest the other $1 million in a qualified opportunity fund. And with that $1 million, you will get three different tax benefits. The first two are are really are nice but they're not particularly compelling the third benefit is the wow moment and when i get there i'd like for you to say wow wow we like the wow moment okay so the first benefit is if you sell a p if you sell a capital asset and you have a capital gain Normally, you would pay tax on that capital gain at the end of the year of the sale. You can defer that tax until December 31, 2026. Okay, so that's the tax deferral. That's the first benefit. The second benefit is that if you hold the property for five years, you can get a 10% step up in basis on that property. If if you hold it for seven years, you get another 5%. So if you buy your, or if you invest in two, by the end of 2019, you can get a 15% step up in basis. So what that means in dollars, taking our same million dollar investment, that means on December 31, 2026, you only have to pay tax on $850,000 at the capital gain rate in place at the time of that, of, in, in 2026. So that's the second benefit. Yeah. Now, the wow moment is that all of the gain and appreciation that occurs from the time you invest until you sell, yes. if you sell, if you wait 10 years to sell for a, on that sale, you all of the capital gain is, is waived. In other words, you get a full step up in basis and there is no tax on the gain or appreciation during the hold period, whether that hold period is 10 years or up to 30 years. So remember that one of the elements of the Opportunity Zone program is that you have to substantially improve the property. Right. Yes. So if you're if you're doing a good job, yeah. you substantially improve the property and it'll cost you, let's say, a million dollars to substantially improve it. Well, if it's going to cost you a million dollars, hopefully that's worth a million five. So Definitely. you've got some appreciation there. And then let's say we have some more good years. So at the end of the at the end of 10 years, it's appreciated another million dollars. And so now you have a million in it, but you have a property worth two and a half million. And there is no tax on that additional so, million so, and a half of gain. So we got, and it, and that is a wow because we got a fifteen percent bump in the basis, the initial correct gain coming into it, but then everything gain, all the gain in that asset going forward, there's is tax free. Wow. And that, thank you, thank you for that. Wow. Yeah, there has never <laughs> been, there's never been another program that I am aware of, short of dying, where you get a full step up in basis. And dying is pretty costly, yeah. right? Oh. So this is a way to get that full step up in basis without dying first. Well, I, I think just from you know my perspective, I look at two things. One, I said it before, I think it's a great opportunity for some diversification, and 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 so often we're pigeonholed into things. So. The like kind requirements, even though it's broad in 1031, nature versus form, you, you're still sort of there. And and like you said, the rest of the investment world really hasn't been given that opportunity right. that, that 1031 prov- provided. But this is a real opportunity for people to get into some other things. The other thing that sort of hits me is when we're looking at building large assets, and we've done some large improvement exchanges together via a variety of different forms. Mm-hmm. But we're always looking at that timeline, and it goes very quickly. So uh, the one thing I do want to point out is that uh, when's the end of the time to get into one of these things? Okay, so there's a couple of timelines that we can talk about. One of them is that you have to reinvest within 180 days. That's similar to a 1031 exchange, but... 
All you have to do is put your money into a qualified opportunity fund yes. within the 180 days. And then the fund has 31 months to deploy or to spend that money. Okay, but we're running into a time that you said 2019. Okay, right, right. And so because of the fixed 2026 date, if you don't invest by the end of 2019, you can't get, you don't, it, there's not seven years yes. left, right? So you can't get the second the second step up in basis of 5%. So that means that you can only get the 10% basis. And, you know, the way, the reason that I say that the first two benefits are are really nice but not compelling, yes. those are not the reason that you invest. The reason you invest is to get the full appreciation tax-free. Yes. So as we march towards 2026, at the end of 2019, the 5% benefit will go away. Okay. At the end of 2020 the 10% benefit will go away. But investing clear up to you November of 2026, you still have the wow moment. You still have the tax-free appreciation during the hold period. And so it's still worthwhile just for that benefit. Thank you for that clarification. I think that's something that there's a lot of maybe misinformation or misunderstanding about. So thank you. And, and uh don't leave. Come back. Uh, once again, David Moore. We'll be right back uh, with Connie Rathbone of Dunn Carney. Thank you, Connie. Thank you.